Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Racha Korash, which is to say the name of the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit in the ancient Hebrew tongue. I also want to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And also want to send out a hearty shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so in efforts to waking up the hopefully elect of the nation of Israel. This is your brother Karab from the Great Millstone, Miami, coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemia Shai. And Lord willing, this is edifying. Okay, now what I want to go into is, um, you know, a little clip I, I uh, saw on social media, okay, dealing with another danger that is coming to the planet. OK, which is already happening. Um, and that's the uh, the threat of wildlife. OK. Um, and obviously, OK, uh, mankind has. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Has uh, expanded uh, their neighborhoods. OK. To the point where now they're uh, actually, you know, infringing upon the wildlife. OK. And hey. You know, one plus one equals two. OK, if you expand and, uh, you know, like uh, Esau Edom is, he's insatiable. OK, and really humankind, uh, mankind is insatiable, you know, especially um, heathens. OK, because they don't have a God. OK, and um, they weren't given the uh, understanding. OK, now um what they're doing is expanding neighborhoods, you know, for, for, for the one of what? money okay uh like the scriptures say the love of money is the root of all evil okay and 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 through their expansion and moving out into you know uh, uh closer and closer to wildlife okay you're hearing of attacks okay and really we know the origin of it okay because it's written in the scriptures that it's going to happen it's going to be one of those uh evils that um you know that that uh, mankind is going to have to deal with. Okay, why? Because we're living in a time of vengeance of the Heavenly Father. Okay, the, the, the Heavenly Father said that their uh, hurtful works are fulfilled. Okay, their sins have reached unto the heavens. Okay, now it's time for judgment. Okay, so no further ado, I'm going to show this clip and get a few precepts. This is a residential neighborhood in Henderson, Nevada, just outside of Las Vegas. As the weather gets colder and food gets more scarce, Coyotes get closer to humans in their attempt to find things to eat. Your dogs are food. Keep your dogs inside. Okay, and now, you know, I, that that's the reality. You better keep your dogs inside, but the reality is you better stay inside, okay? And the reality is that not just coyotes, okay, uh, are, are going to start invading because of the lack of food. Okay, and how Esau Edom is messing up the ecosystem. You see? But it's going to be bobcats and, 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 um, and tigers <laughs> and lions and bears. Oh, my. You see? <laughs> so, um, and the reality is, okay, we've been given that foresight to know these things are coming. Okay, and we know the remedy that we need, okay, to be uh, um, made exempt from these things. OK, but what it does for us, because, hey, wickedness is increasing at all time high. And just like our Heavenly Father, we're sick of this uh, uh, beholding this shit, you know. But when you see things like this, it gives you comfort and lets you know, hey, the most high is doing his thing, man. OK. Uh, and that's our m biggest comfort. You know, uh, brother said all the time, prophecy, seeing prophecies unfold. OK, whether small or great, this is a prophecy. Uh, so let's uh, read. uh Sirach or Ecclesiastes chapter uh, 39 and verse 28. It says, there be spirits that are created for vengeance. You see? And like I mentioned, we're in the time of vengeance. Okay? The Heavenly Father's fed up. Okay? He's starting to send judgments on this planet like never before. Okay? Earthquakes in diverse places. Uh, the, weather, the weather is absolutely out of control here in Miami. We get one week of summer. Or a week and a half of summer, and then a week of winter. A week of summer, and a week of winter. Like, it, it's been erratic, okay? And obviously, the scriptures tell us that the Heavenly Father was going to do this in the last times, which is also a comfort, you see? 
But it's the time of vengeance. Enough is enough. That's what the Heavenly Father is saying. And he's doing it gradually. And then eventually it's going, hey, this shit is going to be destroyed in one hour. Okay, but there's a buildup. You see, this is uh, back in Sirach, uh or Ecclesiastes 39 and 28. It says there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time, in the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them, okay? And this is speaking about the angels, okay? Which have been given power to manipulate things, okay? And one, one of the entities they're going to manipulate are the animals, okay? To take vengeance on the wicked, verse 29. It says, fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. Verse 30, teeth of wild beasts, and scorpions, serpents, and the sword uh, punishing the wicked to destruction. You see? So that's, like I say, that's one of those uh, 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 forms of vengeance, okay? Being manipulated by the angels, the animals. And we're seeing the beginning stages of it, okay? And it's only going to increase. Why? Because Esau eat them strategically. Okay, through the spirit of power of Yahweh Shai, okay, it's messing up the ecosystem. Okay, uh, uh, building more and more into the realms of wild beasts. Okay, and you're going to see an increase of, of, of these attacks. Plain and simple. Okay, let's get one more. This is uh, Job 5 and 19. Okay, and this is for those of us who, who believe and fear the name of Yahweh Shai. Okay. And doing the things that the scriptures advise us to do. Okay, because hey, that's the dichotomy of what's going, what, what's happening. Okay, you got the righteous, those who are thirsting after righteousness, and then you got the wicked, okay, who who declaring their sin is Sodom. Okay, and more particularly our people. You see, it says uh Job uh five and nineteen. It says, He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yeah, in seven. There shall no evil touch thee. Okay. So, hey, the teeth of wild beasts is uh, 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 one of those troubles. But the Heavenly Father said he's going to deliver us from them. Okay. The scriptures also say what? Many are the afflictions uh, uh, of, the, of the righteous, but the Heavenly Father delivered them out of them all. You see? And that's what we got, you know, to look forward to. You know, that's why we can see things like this and get enthused and be thankful. Okay. And really be wooed. Okay, because the heavenly father, just like he wrote hundreds and thousands of years ago, it's happening. Just like he said it would, man. Call Halalim La Yahweh by Shemia Shai. Okay, verse 20. It says, In famine he shall redeem thee from death, and in war from the power of the sword. You see, like the scriptures say, there's no no weapon formed against thee shall prosper. You see? But the Heavenly Father's bringing these troubles on the planet to to do what? To judge the wicked. Verse 21, it says, thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Okay, and that's, hey, that's coming up uh, uh, very quickly, okay, uh, with this deep fade and um, basically ostracizing the men of the Lord, those that are uh, are standing boldly for Yahweh by Shemia Shai, but the Heavenly Father said, I'm going to hide you from that, okay? They're going to do deep fade. They got something where they can, Esau can hear you speak for uh, 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 two or three minutes and then actually formulate a conversation in your voice, make you say things that you haven't said, you see? And who is that going to uh, uh, offend the most? Our people, okay? And they're going to want to come after us, but the Heavenly Father said we're going to be hid from that, you see? It says, uh, thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. Verse 22, at at destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the of the earth. Okay, and like we just read in uh, Sirach or Ecclesiastes, the thirty ninth chapter. Okay, uh, the spirits that are created vengeance are gonna manipulate the animals to attack people, man. Okay, 
But that, we don't have to worry about that, man. Why? Because we fear the names of Yahweh Bashem Shai. And to the best of our ability, we're doing what the Heavenly Father asked us to do. Okay? To be uh, exempt from these things like sighing and crying, you know, and everything that's conducive to salvation. Okay? So, yeah, I don't want to make this too long. I just want to bring that out and show you yeah, prophecies are coming to pass, man. Okay? And I've been out there uh, to Nevada, and it's, it's ideally not a, you know, a good, a, a great, the, the best place to live. I'll say that because we do have brothers that live out there, but you know, just looking at it, and you know, Vegas is uh, pretty much a, a, a desert, you know, and they built all those things in an absolute desert, okay, <laughs> which is an oxymoron, okay, and of course, there's, uh, uh, you know, ample wildlife out there, okay, and they are expanding. We, I saw it, you know, they they actually mentioned it, went on tours. They show that they are expanding, okay? And they have to get their water uh, imported from Lake Mead. There's no real natural water source there, okay? Why? Because it's a desert, okay? So that place, more than anything, is going to be visited by wild beasts, okay? But, um, yeah, I just wanted to bring that out, and Lord willing, I was edifying with that. I say shalom.